What's going on YouTube? Welcome to Altered Gaming TV. Today's a very special day. It's been about six months since I've been able to put a video out, so my channel kind of got put on hold. So first things first, if you'd support this channel, I'd really appreciate it. If you'd hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, comment, share the video, whatever you can do is greatly appreciated. Um, today we're getting going with some Enshrouded. Uh, it's a game that I've played a little bit. Um, I am taking a character that I got to level 8 into this new save, and I got some cool ideas. I'm going to build a hobbit home um, and kind of just wing it from there. Um, so I am kind of cheating a little bit, but all the beginning stuff, like building a crafting bench and getting all that early game stuff going kind of seems unnecessary so we're gonna have a little bit of a hand up here but that's okay because I want the juicy stuff all right yada yada so it's uh, definitely one of my favorite games that I've played in the past few months. Love the combat. Love the building. Uh, where did that... Backpack, where did that torch go? Take you. Alright. And I got my new graphics card and all that stuff, so... My old rig kind of shit the bed and kind of grateful for it because I decided to upgrade. So, I got my little wing suit already. I'm just gonna take these guys out real quick. And then we'll get to the good stuff. Ooh, out of stamina there. I kind of already know where I'm going to start this build however um if we look at the map i already have all this unlocked from my other save um but again i didn't get that far into it this is a very small area of what seems to be a pretty big map i haven't seen any other creators uh content other than like the early release so i haven't even seen much more of this game than what I've played. Uh, I do know, however, that I'm gonna build a little... I'm gonna build a flame altar here and kind of have it be just like a hub, I guess. But I don't want to make my big build just at the very beginning of the map. I want to put it somewhere out here. So we'll do something small over here and build like a nice big compound elsewhere. So the flame altar. Gonna craft that. Uh, backpack. Don't need that torch anymore. I'm gonna build a little Hobbit hole. Headquarters, or not even a headquarters, kind of like a substation over here. So, I'm just gonna get right to it. And we will be back in a minute. I'm gonna fast forward through this. And for anyone who hasn't played this game, uh, 
it's not so much a survival game. If you die, you go back to your altar. Um, food doesn't necessarily, well actually it doesn't at all, equal survival. It gives you buffs. Same with resting and whatnot. Um, same with water. So, I ate some honeycombs. It's going to improve my stamina, so we'll get this going a little bit quicker. Um, but again, I'm going to fast forward so you guys don't have to see this for 20 minutes. So, we'll be right back. Alright, so I broke my pickaxe um, after a few minutes. I got this far. It's very unfinished. So I need to get some string here out of plant fibers so I can make a crafting bench. And once I have a crafting bench, I simply just open the crafting bench and it repairs all my equipment pretty convenient so just gonna do this real quick again just getting some plant fibers so I can make some string uh, string that should be enough workbench craft that bad boy And I guess we'll put it like, I'll put it right there for now. And my axe is repaired. All right, back to the ground. All right, so hopefully this will be big enough um, before the sun starts to set, I'm gonna need to have some type of, do a campfire, and I can't remember where I actually craft, uh, I guess I'll do a fireplace, that'll help with lighting. Um, but before I do that, I need to rake out all this ground in here. I gotta pick a point like that. And I can terraform all this to be level. It'll help with the ceiling height as well. And if you bring it to the edges of the wall, it'll actually pull out from underneath the wall like it did there. And then I can just pull my pickaxe back out. And just remove the wall up until it's even with that which is kind of a useful tip I've yet to figure out a way to level the ceiling though which would be kind of nice but it also gives it that cave look, I suppose. Mm -hmm. So I really just need enough space in here for a fireplace, some storage, and a bed. The fireplace and a couple torches alone should give it enough comfort uh, to get a good rest buff when I, when I sleep. Because that's what I'm really looking for when I sleep is that rest buff. That should be okay for now. Touch it up a little bit. But again, this isn't going to be my main base of operation. I'm not going to have a farm here. I'm not going to have really much here other than a fast travel spot and a uh, bed to rest. Something to cook food at. Uh, 
All right. Now, I'm pretty sure I got to... Oh, I can actually put the fireplace in. Uh, as long as I got enough room for a bed. There. Tucked out of the way. What else I got? Um... Alright, so then I need to craft a bed. Can I do that in here? Sorry, it's been like a month since I've played, so... I'm gonna have to remember as I go. Okay, bed. I might have to level this floor out a little bit better. Word for the wise, never start leveling your land when your rate is horizontal. Or vertical, rather, I'm sorry. Uh, you will dig a massive hole. Alright, so that's good to go. Please, or at least it appears that way until I pull my bed out. Put my bed right there. And then I need some storage crates. Uh... Storage, what do I need for that? I need more string. Can I make more string? I can make some. Let's just go grab some more plant fiber. So I have a few storage containers. Boost up my stamina a little bit more. I will talk to the flame. Sorry, game. Completely ignoring you. Alright, storage. Alright, two should be good for now. I don't need much. I thought I leveled this shit. Alright, we'll put one there. It doesn't have to be perfect. Um, what else can I put in here? Uh, Those dishes, fences, no, 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 no. I don't really need any of that stuff. So, that's alright, we're good. I will, for now, put uh, the torch away, um, metal scraps, dirt, animal fur. should be good for now. I'll go to my backpack and we'll sort my inventory because I'm a lunatic like that. The flame! You are not alone. There are other survivors drowsing in nearby ancient vaults. Find them so they may aid in your journey. Go gently. One beacon's nearby. Just outside of the Shoud's grasp. Alright. I thought I took some shroud cores. I don't actually. I don't even know if I want to upgrade 
uh, when you upgrade the flame altar, it basically just makes the distance away from the altar, like, grow. So, that's a horrible way to explain it. It gives you a bigger building area outside of your flame altar. That's all. Alright, so I'm not going to pick up my bed. I'm going to sleep in it. So right now, my comfort is level 7, so that gives me a 12-minute rested buff. The more comfort you add to the little cave here, uh, the better buff you're going to get. But for now, 12 minutes is more than enough. And we don't actually sleep. We just kind of lay there, and then time flies by. But I do love this map. Or this world. And I haven't gone up that way. Um, not sure if there's like a wintry, mountainous biome up there. Uh, I know there's like a desert biome over that way. So I figure there's some kind of snowy biome. Um, I know that that red shroud right there is a higher level than this bluish green shroud down here. And the one past that, I assume, is a level higher than the red. Um, so, we're going to do this little quest um, here that it wants me to do. Uh, how do I place set a waypoint? Alright, there we go. Take some meats. Um, and actually, before we go, I have a campfire. I'm gonna cook some meat real quick. The cooking animation in this is, uh, although a simple thing, it's very, uh, <laughs> glitchy. Did I have any other uncooked shit? Um, the berries you can cook, but you need to do them on like a drying rack, I think it is. Which we don't have yet, obviously. We're just gonna cook this meat up. Um, typically meat gives you, uh, like the grilled wolf meat is gonna give me a max health bonus. Um, where did that other meat go? Grilled meat right here. Okay, yeah, that's just a health bonus too. Um, water gives you stamina, um, stuff like that. Then I have potions, but before I get too crazy over here, I don't need this thing. Salvage that. Um, I'm gonna organize my shit a little bit. I'm gonna have weapons up here. I'll have food at the back end of that action bar. And what do I... I'm not gonna really need any of these potions yet. I'm in the beginning, and I'm already level 8, so... No need. I got my grappling hook already. Don't try and use your grappling hook if you don't have any stamina. It will not be a good day. Oh, did not even see him. Tell your friends about me. Something just died up there. One of the really cool things about this game is you can literally just terraform anything, wherever you are. Um, the only thing is, if you expect it to stay there, being outside of your flame altar, um, it's not going to happen. So you can terraform for resources and whatnot, 
Um, you just can't build a base and think it's going to be there uh, when you come back around. Because it will just respawn to its original, um, I guess, form. <laughs> We're gonna be all sneaky sneaky. I was trying to get critical. Uh, that's alright. The bow's cool. Um, but I'm a big fan of my wand and I just love how seamlessly you can switch between weapons I did hotkey my weapons um, or at least I thought I did I guess not I had them hotkeyed to all my like mouse buttons and whatnot but uh I ended up just using my wheel anyway you know it's like boom tab boom I mean, alt. It's pretty simple. Uh, it's nice for quick combat adjustments. And I got my little shield. Thank you, sir. Venture forth. It's done. The cinder vessel is a delicate contraptions still volatile yet brimming with potential and hope the first human to enter will be our true prototype the kindling of a new spark thankfully the blacksmith volunteered he must enter the vessel and sleep until roused anew lest he sleeps into inter slips into eternity may the ashes of one age sustain the seeds of the next balthazar so little background lore balthazar is kind of this guy who created these vessels here which we're about to open and get our blacksmith um because the world was being encased with the shroud um that we were talking about before and uh you're allowed to spend a little bit of time in the shroud but um without upgrading i believe it's five minutes that you're allowed to spend in the shroud before it starts deteriorating your health and um yeah, then you die and lose all your stuff and have to go back and get it. And if you die because you are ignoring the shroud timer and you're in some deep shit that's going to take you more than five minutes to get in and out of, you can pretty much kiss that gravestone um, with all your items goodbye for the time being. Um, it's happened. <laughs> I'm sure not just to me, but to some of you watching. Um, pretty cool concept. Come on, blacksmith. What are, you, what are you doing? Oh, I guess it's skipping all the fancies because uh, I already had them. Um, I'm guessing. I don't even know. I thought I had to do these quests to get these these guys back. But I could have potentially just pulled out my summoning wand and, or summoning staff and just placed them next to my flame altar. What do we got? Eureka. By the ancients, I've done it. Equilibrium. The subject sleeps, yet can be awakened. Ah, oh, you son of a bitch. To be continued. The subject does not decay, is untouched by the coarse flow of time. A flame soul in a mortal body. Igni serves as proof we can survive. We can endure. These cinder vessels will be our only chance amidst the shroud. We have no other choice. Balthazar, what a guy. Always, always looking out for others, you know. Rare trait. What's that? Oh, it's a Benny. No, I'll take that. Rare 
resin. Love it. Harvest you. Yeah. Aha. Got that. Alright. And yeah, we're just going back to the home. We can fast travel that. And I need my summoning wand. I freaking hope I took that with me. I think I'd just make one easily anyway, but there it is. Uh, I don't need grenades. Summoning staff. All right, yeah, maybe I did have to go get him anyway. I'll put him right there. To flame What's up, Oswald? Alright, so what you get in the beginning, some pretty basic stuff. Um, you got a forge, charcoal kin, nails, felling axe, pickaxe, lockpick, one handed weapons, full armor set, and dishes. Um, now, I don't need this full armor set, I've already got a better one. Uh, I've already got better weapons than the one-handed weapons here, and you just click between the options at the top. Um, you know, they show the stats. I will need a forge and a charcoal kin, so I need stone and charcoal. Now get back out. Uh, whoops. Let's fix that up. Charcoal kin, I just need stone. Fight fire. So I believe I took some with me. There she is. Uh, what is it? Okay, I already know all that stuff. All right, charcoal can. Let's build you. <laughs> Strike while the um, I guess I'll just put it outside. And then, wood logs and dirt. Dart. Dart. I thought I had some wood logs in my blind. Oh, here they are. Um, no dirt. Gotta go get some dart. Make a whole. Eh. We'll split that stack. Over here, just getting my kiln on. Alright, so that's just gonna go. Got seven queued, it's gonna take 40 minutes for all of those. That's fine. Don't need anything right now. Um, I think we picked up, yeah. Picked up a little bit of bunny meat. Might as well cook it up while we're here. Sweet. Alright. Rested. Where are we on to next? Let's take a look at our journal. Um, the blacksmith needs a shop. Use the construction hammer. The construction hammer can be used to construct a shop for the blacksmith. Once the construction hammer is selected, the desired blueprints and materials can be chosen. So, that will be our next workbench. Yep, yeah, got it. So, inventory. Yes, I have it with me. Sweet. I don't have any wood blocks on me. That's fine. Why did, what did it mean? I need the shop. I'm actually kind of confused with that one. Is there a pre-made blueprint for a shop, or it just wants me to... Just wants me to build him a fucking shed. <laughs> um, you know what? We're not gonna waste our time with that. 
This one sounds good. A story of rot. Discover the Shroud Obelisk. The flame spoke of ancient obelisk. <laughs> obelisk. Obelisk, which revealed information about the world. The obelisks show hidden truths, and some are connected to what festers below. The location of one such obelisk is marked on the map. Seek out the obelisk and discover the secrets it holds. The obelisk's secrets will only be revealed to those who seek them. Alright, well... What's, where's this obelisk? The critter nest, blah, blah. Oh, here's one. Nice little journey for us. Alright, so let's go check this out. gonna give you a chance all right if you run on roads by the way it's much better on your stamina but we gotta go up this way Remember. Oh. No. Try that again. There we go. the fucking giant no, I'm not gonna say what I'm not gonna say what I was thinking what do you got for me mm, nothing 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 I mean I can it's pretty cool, I can kind of just dismantle whatever I want for the resources and the materials, but I don't really need anything right now, so I'm not going to waste my time. Except I am going to break down this door. Boom. Some grenades. Which I don't really use very often, they're kind of... Alright. Careful with this shipment. Argon. Take care with this new shipment from the valley. The merchant said it's highly volatile, apparently. The explosives explode. If jostled or tossed about. Who would have known? Anyway, I paid a pretty penny for this. Do not mess around in here. I can't afford to fix another hole in the wall. Well, I don't know how good you are at fixing there, but... If we fail, we try again, I suppose. Give him some fix up. Alright, and we continue forward. Go get this honey. Chop a tree down and kill a wolf. Same damn time. That is right. Loop, 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 loop. Give me all your honeycomb. Loop, loop, loop. Okay. I use some. Did he see me? Yeah, he did. I got no 
more ammo for my staff. Loot, loot, loot. How do I switch my ammo on the... There we go. What up? He's gonna... Look all confused and shit. Alright, well... Didn't even see what hit him. In his defense, he didn't even have a face, so. to my next victims. Damn, that dude spent all those money on his grenades. Could have just ran around a little bit. Oops, thought I had my sword out. My sword. Peaceful acres. Got some shroomies. Let me get out of this. I'll just plant fiber. I'll take some while it's freely available like this. Ooh, the fresh ones give you corn cobs. Make some popcorn. How do you eat your corn? I think that's a not weird fair question to ask. Another one. I don't want your rat meat. No lockpick. Can I make one from here? Yeah, I can. What you know about Steven? Oh, well, that doesn't help my buff. I didn't think it would. All right. 
Oh, string. Anything else in here? Honey? Honey? Alright. We out. We out of here like a bald guy. Speaking of hairy guys, you guys like my fucking sweet red mustache? Comment in the section below. Alright, we're getting there. So we have traveled not that far. One of those games where the map doesn't seem like it's huge, but then you start running around in it, and you realize there's a lot of shit packed into it. Ooh, wrong place, wrong time there, big ear bunny. in the food chain. Loot, loot, loot. I think I could shoot down. Yeah, that's easier. What the hell is this taking me? we'll find out next time. No, I'm just kidding. We're gonna go check this out. Oh, I don't have a lot of stamina. Alright, never mind. I had that hidden bar down there. dark. <laughs> I'm resorting to my wand for light. How the fuck am I gonna get out of here? The chest? By the way, ice bolts are going to be used as ammo for my staff. I guess the uh, wand kind of works. It doesn't help me find my way out of here, though, all that well. No. Oh. Really, that was it. Big ass cave, that was it. Probably not. <laughs> but that's all we're gonna do for now, because we are on a mission. And I found the uh, 
obelisk. Alright, got some boots. Got some literature here. Ancients in the Flame. One last journey. Tired. We would pretend to read them as children, but now the obelisks hide their truths. I was a fool for thinking I could find a solution to my problems here. No one hears my prayers, and I feel so tired. I wish you were by my side, brother. Forgive me. In a world destined for ruin, humanity will fade, as all beings do. Their light will flicker and die, untouched by the eternal flame. Meaningless and minuscule, in the face of near-endless insight, burning brightly. Turning to dust as we turn to fire. An endless cycle of ruin and turmoil. Yeesh. I don't want any part of that. Alright, well. I guess I did that. Thought I just did that. Maybe there's a different one. Oh, and there it is. Story of Rot. So I just went all the way there for nothing. That's okay. Um I'm gonna head over here. Maybe, or maybe. I'm gonna head over here. I'm gonna go right here. <laughs> Final decision. We're gonna head up this way, and I'm gonna make a real home base somewhere up in this area. So I think the best route is gonna be. Um. Alright, so I'm here. Trying to avoid the shroud for now, which looks like the best way to go would be this way. So I'm going to fast travel back home and then we'll head in that direction. And get a little rest bonus quick. Once we get there, we'll kind of survey the area. Oh, out of stamina. Um, we'll survey the area, kind of pick out a spot, and we'll get going on a legit base. And what I want to do once we get there, and before I end this part of the Enshrouded series, part one, um... I'm going to show you guys my original Hobbit home build. So you get an idea of kind of what we're going for here. I'm pretty happy with my my other save. And I want to go above and beyond with this one. Nice. 
I know you're up there, dude. <laughs> that did not work. way. Do a little base jump in here. I don't know if I'm high enough level to even enter this red shroud though, that's the issue. Kind of a good amount of shroud to get through. If I go to the right over here. Ooh, what's that? Destructed! Uh, just a... Old mine, I guess? I could probably dig down into that. There. You know what? Let's see. I'll speed this up for the video. So let's see what's in here. Feels like if I keep digging right here, there might be something hidden. Or I could just give this game too much credit. Yeah, I think I might be. And my backpack is full, so. I don't need that. Um, don't need that. Well, I guess that's it for now. All right, back to it. This game is beautiful, I love it. Trying to avoid this shroud as long as I can. I just gotta get up over that way. Alright, here we go. Whoa! Okay, I can't do the red shroud. Shit! lost a lot of stuff. Damn. How the... How the hell did I get up there before then? Oh. Wow. Well, guys, with that being said, I think we're gonna end episode one here. We at least have our little... camp this way. Um, next episode, we're gonna make our way up through here, not through here, through here, um, build, like, a real headquarters up this way, and then we'll, we'll hit that quest while we're up there, and whatnot. This, I can clear that, remove that marker, 
Um, there's my tombstone. <laughs> With all the shit that I just lost. Um, so, hopefully soon we'll be a high enough level to get through that red shroud. But until then, we're going to start construction on our base. Before we do that, I am going to show you the original base that I have. Alright guys, here we are. Um, this is my first and only other base, and I'll give you a quick tour. Um, give you an idea of what's to come for the Altered Gaming TV in Shrouded series. Um, I did make this one where I said I don't want to make the new one in the new save, um, but I built a little launching ramp so I can fly my way down into the shroud. Um, it took a little craftsmanship, but it came out pretty good. This is my flame altar here. Um, I think it's level 3 now, uh, or 4, because I can build all the way out here. Um, this is my little farmhouse. This is going to be all farmable land right here. Got my carpenter. Got my farmer. Some storage and some seedlings going. Um, we'll go around the front entrance. Here is my kiln. With some little shelves, I guess, or whatever. And here is my front entrance. Welcome to my crib. Where I have storage, my little kitchen, my fireplace, my bear skin rug, my bedroom, where if I rest, I have a level 13 comfort, so an 18 minute rested buff there. Uh, my little window. Here is kind of like my crafting room. All different crafting stations. And then this is the back door to the farm with my steps made of skulls. Because they all told their friends about me and they all lost. So this is my little humble abode here. Um, so we're going to do something more above and beyond this for our Enshrouded series. Um, so, I'd like to thank you guys for watching all the way through. Um, again, please like, subscribe, share, comment, and we will be back with Enshrouded Episode 2 right around the corner. Have a great day, guys.